Hi, I'm Deborah Clark, Supervisor of Elections for Pinellas County, and I want to thank you for serving as a poll worker. We appreciate your commitment and service to our community. Trained and prepared poll workers are essential to a successful election. As you know, all Florida voters use paper optical scan ballots, whether voting by mail, at an early voting site, or at the polls on election day. We want to give you a preview of the current voting system to help prepare you for election day so you can answer questions that voters may have about the voting process. Here's what a voter can expect at the polling place on election day. A poll worker will greet you at the door and direct you to the sign-in table where you begin a four-step voting process. Step one. A poll worker will ask to see your photo and signature ID. If a driver license or Florida ID is presented, the poll worker will slide the card along the magnetic strip reader of the electronic poll book to bring up your voter record. The poll worker will confirm that you are in the correct precinct and are eligible to vote in this election. Then you will be asked to sign the electronic signature pad and the electronic poll book will print your ballot ticket. The poll worker will ask you to confirm your name, date of birth, and address, then direct you to the ballot table. If another type of ID is presented, the poll worker will manually look up your name using an on-screen keyboard. Acceptable forms of ID include Florida driver license or Florida identification card, U.S. passport, debit or credit card, and other forms of ID including military, student, retirement center, neighborhood association, and public assistance ID. Step two, in exchange for your ballot ticket, you will be given a ballot in a secrecy folder and a black ballpoint pen. Then you will be directed to a voting booth. At the voting booth, Please use the black pen to mark your ballot. Completely fill in the oval next to each of your selections. Then carefully review your ballot, making sure that all ovals are filled in next to your selections. Check to make sure you did not vote for more than one candidate in each race. Stray marks may be read by the scanner as an overvote. Circled selections or mismarked ballots may be read by the scanner as blank. In both cases, the ballot will be rejected. Also, check to make sure you did not skip a race unintentionally. If you need to make changes, ask a poll worker for another ballot. If you're satisfied with your selections, put your ballot in the secrecy folder and take it to the ballot scanner. Step four, if you have any questions, ask a poll worker before you insert your ballot in the scanner. Once a ballot has been accepted, it cannot be retrieved for correction. Insert your ballot in the ballot scanner. If your ballot is accepted, the scanner will record your votes and deposit your ballot in the locked ballot box. The scanner will alert you if your ballot appears blank or has one or more overvotes. If your ballot appears blank, you will then be given the option to either accept the ballot as is or return it to you for corrections. If your ballot has one or more overvotes, you will be given the option to either correct your ballot or cast your ballot with errors. Your ballot is the official record of your votes. As you exit the polling place, please return the secrecy folder and pen. In return, a poll worker will offer you an I Voted sticker. Remember, if you need help at any time during the voting process, please don't hesitate to ask a poll worker for assistance. They are trained to guide you through the process and answer your questions. For voters with disabilities, an ADA accessible voting machine, the Automark, will be available at all early voting sites and election day polling places. This ballot marking device uses the same paper ballot and is read by the same ballot scanner. It allows voters the options of a touchscreen with a zoom in large print feature, an audio function with headset and braille keypad, a two switch paddle device, or a sip and puff device. By following these four easy steps, 
We hope to provide you with a positive voting experience. We hope you found this preview helpful. Now you'll have the opportunity for some hands-on breakout sessions designed especially for the poll worker position you're assigned for this election. Again, thank you for being a poll worker. We could never have a successful election without you.